You know, in retrospect, I really just completely regret going over to my best friend's house and helping him test out martinis for his girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Drunk videos probably aren't the best idea. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Pretty sure every one of you knows because nobody on the internet can fucking shut up about it. So I realize for women, um, choosing the right dress is like super important for Valentine's Day and you spend hours and hours getting ready and I don't really see the point because the person that you're probably trying to impress or if you're going to a party, like everyone has seen you ugly like they have seen you at your lowest point probably without makeup without anything so it doesn't make sense in my head why you would waste so much time just to try to look 20 times hotter than you already are um but i really have no room to talk because if i was going on a hot date i would do the exact same thing so I just thought I would show you guys a few options um, of things you could wear on this national day of love. And then I'm going to do a little commentary on what exactly that dress says about you. So, here we go. As we all know, the color red is a very classic Valentine's Day color. Red is the stereotypical color of love. And nothing says, I want you to impregnate me quite like a red dress. Also, if you have a dress that has a bit of sheerness going on in the front, like mine, it doesn't matter what color it is, you're basically just saying, hey, I just got a boob job, or hey, should I get a boob job? If you're going to choose to wear a dress that is flesh-toned, you need to be prepared uh, that you are giving off the vibe. I look naked, I want to bone you. There's really no getting past that. And if your dress has some sort of like side boob action, doesn't really matter what color dress, you are just asking for it. You are asking for it, I don't know where, but it's happening. Now, wearing all black on Valentine's Day can mean a lot of things. First thing it can mean is, I completely forgot what today was, and so I'm just gonna go out anyways because society has deemed it completely socially unacceptable to not go spend an absurd amount of money on dinner in an outfit just for you to show me that you extra love me today. It can also mean I'm feeling really sexual and I want you to ponder throughout the entire evening whether or not I am in fact wearing all black underneath my black dress. And any other color dress really just means, oops, I have completely forgot what today was. I was too busy getting an education or off doing something else moderately important with my life. Unless it's white. If you're wearing white, you're basically just saying, don't you dare even think about me in any sort of way. Don't touch me, don't breathe on me, don't have fantasies about me, because Jesus knows what you're thinking. I will not have my body being tainted by your subpar genitalia tonight. But let's be honest, guys, it really doesn't matter what you wear on Valentine's Day, because the only thing that your date or your couch is thinking about is, how the fuck can I get her out of this dress? That's all they're thinking about. And if you're thinking, wow, Erica, this video is completely irrelevant because guess what? I don't have a date for Valentine's Day. You are fucking wrong because I too, in fact, do not have a date this year. Yet again, I am single and dateless. So if you're like me and you want to trick people on the internet into thinking you do in fact have a love life, all you have to do is pick the color dress that best suits you and what you want to convey to the world. Then just take a semi-provocative selfie and post it on the internet. No caption. No emojis. No little asterisk thing that looks like one of those little spermies. Nothing. Just post it. They won't think to ask you what you did or how your dinner was or what you did afterwards. I guarantee nobody will know that you stayed home alone with your cat drinking alcohol eating Starburst and watching a Nicholas Sparks space film, crying your eyes out because you are alone. It's virtually foolproof and I'm super proud of myself for figuring out this tactic. So get out there and have yourselves a sexual Valentine's Day and make sure you wear a condom if you do anything or don't. Leave your future up to chance. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you think I'm completely off my rocker and on crack. Don't do that. I will see you guys next week for another really mediocre one of these things.